Hello, and welcome to NTC Reviews. Today, I'm going to catch you up on my progress thus far with the Helium 5G network. I initially received the indoor bundle, reviewed that. If you want to check that out, I'll link it up above now. And uh, approximately about uh, five weeks after that, I added the small cell CBRS outdoor uh, 5G unit to my setup. So currently I have the two 5G units running and I've earned about 2.5 uh, million mobile coin. What that'll translate to, we have yet to find out, but we know that it is working. Now, if you are interested in finding out more about the little things that I've learned over the last few months, and also I'm going to go through a quick setup of the uh, outdoor bundle the CBRS since I haven't reviewed that yet. So if you are interested in receiving that information, stay tuned. When it came to setting up the outdoor small cell, since I already had the indoor bundle, I had the Freedom Fi gateway. So since I had the gateway already and had it all set up, all I had to do is now plug in the outdoor 5G unit into this Freedom Fi gateway. So it was a good thing because I'm able to save on a gateway and be able to use that for multiple 5G units. So far, setting up these uh, 5G units have been extremely simple. Freedom Fi has a website with a setup guide on it and just follow it step by step and you'll be set up in no time. So fairly simple uh, setup here. You're going to connect the uh, PoE, the Power Over Ethernet injector. From there, you connect the Ethernet cable to the injector. And then from there, you'll connect the Ethernet cable to the gateway. Since I already had an existing gateway instead of NB1, I chose the ENB2 port. From there, I connected the uh, Power Over Ethernet cable to the Power Over Ethernet injector. From there, you'll connect the PoE cable to the outdoor small cell itself just by loosening up the three Phillips head screws that you'll see there. Uh, from there, you're going to connect the other end to the outdoor ethernet cable. From there, you're going to want to verify your connectivity status. And you'll go over to freedomfi-gateway.local while you're connected, obviously, to the same network that your uh, radio is connected to. And from there, you'll get a dashboard. Uh, once again, you'll see all the information easily labeled on the Freedom Fi website. From there, you'll have also a few more steps. You're gonna need to be able to record the height and submit pictures, so keep that in mind. You're gonna need to record the azimuth. Once again, all the information is on the Freedom Fi website, which apps you would need to uh, download, or you can use uh, certain websites. And keep in mind that you will also need to record the elevation angle. And you're gonna submit these pictures uh, to be able to register your small cell so that you can get online and start earning the mobile coins. Now, I'll put much more information in my blog post, and I will link it in the comments field below, so be sure to check it out. Now, I did go ahead and set everything up before I had it mounted just to make sure everything was working, and that is specified also in the user guide. As far as the mounting location that I chose for the outdoor uh, unit, I had an existing pole out there that I already had an antenna uh, mounted to, and it was already grounded and all the good stuff, so I went ahead and attached my outdoor 5G unit to that pole with the brackets that it comes with. And uh, once again, that's really up to you. You can wall mount this unit, you could uh, mount it on a J mount, and uh, pretty much whatever uh, contraption would work best for your setup. Once again, my hasty setup was just to get it up there so I could start earning these mobile coin. Uh, right now we're still in this Genesis period. So basically 100 million mobile coins are uh, being minted daily. And those of us that have these 5G units out there are getting a portion of those 100 million uh, coins that are mount, uh, mined every day. But keep in mind, the more units, just like the uh, initial uh, helium miners, the more units that are online, the less mobile coin that you're going to obviously mint because the other units that are online are also going to get a piece of those 100 million coins. The Genesis period did get extended from what I read uh, through January. Uh, I think it should have been over already by now, and if they are going to extend it again, I don't know. But obviously, I want to take advantage of that while it's there to be able to take advantage of. In the future, once I add more 5G units, I'm most likely going to change the setup and the location uh, to get better reception. But once again, we're still in this Genesis period. I'll worry about that a little bit later. 
As far as this rewarding goes, uh, with the indoor bundle, I was able to, let's say, receive or get rewarded with these mobile coins at one time, or let's say 100% uh, of the value or the quota. With the this uh, newer outdoor bundle that I just installed, I actually get double that. And from what I see, there's actually a high-powered 5G unit where you get four times the rewards. So once I started with the indoor miner, I was probably making about 10,000, 9,000 coins per day, which I actually should have been making more, but we'll get into that in a minute. And then once I did add this second unit, I had gone to about 29,000 of the mobile coins being rewarded to me on a daily basis. Now, what I didn't realize the first uh, few weeks that I was set up is that there's actually some other criteria to this. So if you go over to the Helium site and you go over to your Helium wallet where your 5G units are attached to, you'll see that there are 5G statistics there. Now, in those 5G statistics, there are different criteria that I wasn't paying attention to uh, at all. And unfortunately, this was affecting my rewards. So the fact that the issue that I was having is I was having a lot of latency on my uh, setup. So I was over 50 milliseconds, which is the cap. So the fact that I was like at 55 or 56 or even 60 lowered my rewards. Instead of me earning that one time or two times, I was being penalized because of that latency and was only earning half of that. So once I addressed that and did some tweaking and replaced some routers, uh, and got everything up to par and fixed that latency, I went right up to making about 40,000 mobile coins a day with the same setup that I had before, but just because now I was actually getting the full rewards because I had this little criteria addressed. Now, keep in mind, it's not just for the latency, it's also for the download speed needs to be at least 100 Mbps, and your average upload speed needs to be at least 10 Mbps. So if those things are not met, you will not get the full rewards. Pay attention to it, because I certainly did not, and I lost out on uh, some rewards. So that's my experience uh, so far. It's been about two and a half months with the 5G bundles. And the one thing that I could say is there is some potential here. I know the market isn't really uh, showing it these days, and uh, many of us are feeling a lot of pain. And I know it's painful, but when I see and get to test out things like this and really get firsthand on and see the potential of this project it really does excite me i really feel that there is something there uh, the market isn't really helping us right now and a lot of different fears and a lot of concerns and uh, some of them rightfully so